Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jenky in this video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a custom logo on Pixlr E. So I actually got a comment on my recent video and they were wondering how to make a uh, custom logo on Pixlr E. So I decided just to make one. Um, so yeah. Also guys, I put my face cam in the bottom corner. Let me know how you guys like it. If you don't, then I'll stop using it. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the first step. You guys want to go to create new and you guys want to make your um, width. Uh, 500 and then your height 500 and then uh, you don't need to put background if you can if you want but you don't have to and then uh, create so yeah uh, using the scroll you guys can zoom in that makes it a little bit easier um, but yeah the next step is add your text so you guys just want to add your text and put your letter of your name and then go up to here and choose your font so uh, if you guys don't actually know how to get custom fonts, you guys can uh, look at my tutorial that I posted. Uh, I'll, it'll be in the link in the description. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna use this custom font that I downloaded, and then uh, just make the size of the font or the text very big, just like this. All right. Now uh, the next thing you guys want to do is um, you guys can also maybe make it a little bit bigger. Like that, so it doesn't crop off your text by doing this. So you guys want to go to um, styles, and then you guys can do tons of different things here. You guys can do shadows, which basically um, changes like the color. You can make shadows of your, from your text and other things like that. I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I'm going to be doing an outline, and then I have to make the outline size smaller because I don't really like it to be that big. I think I'm going to do two. And then uh, just change it to whatever color that you guys want. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing blue for this one. So, make it blue. Alright. Now, you guys can uh, don't have to worry about uh, your uh, text for a little while. Next step, uh, you guys want to go up to here. And you guys want to change up your background for your text. Alright guys, so I finally found the picture that I wanted to use for my background for my picture. So, whenever you do that, you guys want to left click on it. And you guys want to click copy image address and you guys want to go back to pixlr and then um go up to file open image.url and then click the url in and then add current and then it'll show up right here so the next step is um you guys might want to put your uh text and drag it above it just so you can see the color difference and what you guys want to change with it so um you guys want to select your uh image and then go up to adjustment and go to hue and saturation now right here you guys can change things like saturation to make it like this you guys can make use light list to make it like darker and stuff and lighter and then you guys can also just change the color of it by changing the hue right here i think i'm going to change the saturation and move it up and then maybe if I can find a darker blue in here, I might. If I can't, but I think I'm just gonna change the darkness of a little bit. All right, and then um, another thing you guys can do to add like a little uh, touch is if you guys are on your image URL, you guys can go to the blur icon, and then you guys can make the size all the way maximum. And then uh, also, I would recommend. Um, Changing the softness and making it a little bit more if you guys don't want it to be like that blurred out I would probably put it at like 80 and then just blur out your image a little bit just to add and there we go if you guys don't want, uh, if you guys decide that you don't want the blur, you guys can just click here in saturation right here and it'll take you back. Or you guys can press Ctrl Z. Uh, but I kind of like the blur, so I'm going to keep that. And yeah. The next step is you guys want to click on your image or your uh, letter and then you guys want to make it move it down, make it smaller, bigger, whatever you guys want. And then it'll actually auto center it for you, so you don't need to worry about uh, centering it. But, um, yeah. The thing is, with it, that's kind of weird though. The thing is, there's a lot more open space down here than there is up here. So, uh, that doesn't really work that well. So, I would kind of center it to your, like, best, um, 
to how you think it looks the best. And then you guys can also uh, use this tool to move it like this a little bit if you want to. I'm going to tilt it a little bit and maybe move it like down to like the corner a little bit. I think it looks kind of nice. Um, so yeah, if you guys, uh, instead of this, wanted to also add in um, like a, a character of a game, you guys can also do that uh, just by going up to here, searching up like um, R6 Bandit uh, PNG. You guys can use these and you guys can get images, uh, copy image address. Make sure that they have a checkerboard pattern though, because if they don't have that checkerboard pattern, you'll be getting a ton of the extra white space all over your image and no one wants that. So make sure it has a checkerboard pattern and go back to your image and then um, you guys can open image URL and then paste it in, add current, and there you go, see? And it looks nice too, you guys can put it wherever you want like this and yeah. Um, the one issue with this guys is, um, from my understanding, there is no way to add an outline to these images yet. So that is the one issue that I have with this uh, new software is that you can't add outlines to your images yet, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'm, uh, I'm gonna probably talk to Pixlr. Uh, I'm gonna probably DM them on like Twitter or something, and then I'm gonna see if I can like so I'm just gonna tell them that it, it would be a good idea to add that in just because that I feel like that would really just help out with you know our designs, designs in general. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not gonna have this in my picture. I just thought that I would put this in as a, just to tell you guys that you guys can do that if you guys want to. So yeah. But anyway, guys, this is basically how you guys make your own um, logo for your YouTube channel. Uh, you guys can also add tons of more stuff. You guys can add like. Uh, you guys can put like your whole name, you guys can put like whatever you guys want in here. Uh, but yeah, you guys can um, just experiment. This is just the uh, basics of this. So yeah, so you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out. And uh, if it did, you guys can leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would really be appreciated. Uh, I'm posting a lot more videos like this. Um, yeah, also guys, please comment videos, suggestions of things that you guys need. Um, if you don't, uh, if you guys want to search them up on YouTube, that's fine, but I'll also make these videos, uh, if, you know, possible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of your day.